My name is Victor. Thank you for watching this video. I'm here on the west side of Lake Michigan and I'm here to talk about what would the underwater landscape of Lake Michigan look like if all the water was gone. So we're going to use our imagination. This is the original beach and during the polar vortex a section of this uh, of the offshore landscape actually buckled up revealing some of that underwater landscape so we could really use our imagination today we'll start from here this is the beach this is where the water begins this is amazing during the polar vortex this land the ice actually pushed this section of offshore upward revealing some of this underwater landscape and this is what we would find a clay like landscape because you can see where the beach all the way down there that's where the original beach is and this is the land that we never knew documentaries about draining the ocean and draining the Great Lakes, but there was only mere sonar images that they could project. In this case, we have the real thing. And what you would find is lots of rocks. Lots of different types of rocks that still have their glacial striate. Whoa. Oh, I get splashed here. But you can just see what it would look like. like this one. It's not rounded and tumbled like the ones over on the beach. And in some cases, oh, look at this. You can find chunks of fool's gold, like pyrite, that you won't find on the beach that most people would walk on. Probably because everybody took all those. You find all the rocks that nobody would, uh, that nobody ever got a chance to get. Might find fossils, perfectly preserved fossils, possibly. And here's some of the other rocks that were probably from the beach that was here maybe hundreds or thousands of years ago that have always been covered up. This is awesome. It's just giant rocks, lots of clay. As I'm walking on the underwater landscape here, this is what it would reveal. Usually this was, as this land, this, this section of land was underwater, it was covered up by sand. And then of course the waves, once the land got pushed up, have been washing that sand away, revealing all of these rocks in this clay landscape. And here we got some, some of the old beach. And these rocks that are always, that have always been underwater, that were probably from, uh, a beach that was here, like I said, hundreds or thousands of years ago when the lake level was lower. And it kind of created a little island. And there's the original beach is way over there. But here we are on the offshore landscape. So if you want to talk about draining the Great Lakes, this is it. <laughs> lots of rocks and lots of uh, clay landscape. And I just, I, I can't get enough of this. I just can't get enough of admiring this, this land feature. You never know what you might find in the midst of all this. This is like a dream. Yes, folks, I've never seen anything like this in my life. All these are, they have jagged edges. They only, and some of them were probably rounded and tumble, but they were rounded and tumble thousands of years ago. You can find neat chunks of fools going like this. I gotta tell you, I don't know about the economy, but I know us rock hounds would love something like this to happen. 